bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. Be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. I pray for your sons and your daughters that are connected right now. I ask that as they will utilize this secret of the prophetic, Lord, do we increase them, expand them, take them deep into the prophetic realm. Let them prophesy with accuracy and let them edify your church in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. So very quickly, I want to give you three secrets in the prophetic. All right. So very, very quickly. The first secret is understand your frequency. I want you to understand that in the realm of the spirit, there are different frequencies. When it comes to the spirit realm, there are different frequencies. So you need, the first thing you need to understand your frequency of connecting to the spirit realm. All right. You need to understand the channel of connecting to the spirit realm. There are persons who frequency to connecting to the spirit realm is worship. There are people whose frequency is prayer. There are persons whose frequency is studying the Bible. All right. There are different frequencies in the realm of the spirit. I, uh, when I started um, in the prophetic ministry, when I started, um, the, the frequency I used to enter into the prophetic is prayer. When I, I start praying, I lead people in prayer or um, I see people pray. It takes me into the spirit realm and I start prophesying. All right. So there are different frequencies. Majorly, I use all the all the, these channels. But there are people who are uh, particular channel specific. All right. He said this is the kind of worshiper the Lord is the one that is worshiping in truth and in spirit. There are different frequencies into the spirit. In the realm of the spirit, there are different frequencies as well. All right. So there is a frequency in the spirit where you will enter, and what you will be seeing is uh, angels, cherub, and the rock and the rest. And then there are, is another frequency in the spirit. When you enter, you will see everything just like in the natural form. All right. Even if angel is to an angel is to come and speak to you in that realm, he's still going to come as a man, as a human. Why? Because that is another frequency in the spirit. So you need to understand your frequency. The first thing there are people who what list, takes them into the spirit realm is when they are listening to teachings like this. Like as I'm speaking right now, there are people who are getting activated. They are feeling like prophesying already. Are you getting it now? So it's an activation. So some of these persons, before they go for meeting, they're listening to ministration. They go back and watch that, that message that grace them up before they go for ministration. You just need to understand your frequency. Every prophet or prophetic person has a prophetic frequency. The goal is to enter into the spirit realm. Once you are in the spirit realm, you begin to prophesy. Are you hearing me now? Once you enter into that realm, then the prophetic opens and you cannot prophesy. You cannot speak with accuracy. But the first thing is to enter into that realm. So my, by studying the word of God, I remember sometimes I'll be studying the Bible and I, my spirit will be in somebody's house. I'm studying the Bible, but I realize my spirit is in somebody's house. Message is already coming. Are you getting it? So it's just a channel of frequency. All right, it's just a channel of frequency. So that is number one secret in the prophetic. Once you can enter the spirit, then you are now good to go. He said, if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. And you cannot walk in the spirit. You cannot walk except you have sight to see. It simply means if you live in the spirit, you should have that sight to see. Are you getting that? So you will just have to make sure that you understand your frequency. This is an assignment for prophetic students. Understand your frequency. What is that particular thing that makes you feel God, that makes you, that, that, that tune you into the spirit realm? All right? Or some of you that don't understand when you are already in the spirit realm, that makes you start feeling some signs because some persons that are coming up, God graced them with signs that will confirm that they are now in the spirit. Some hands will start shaking. Some their tongues will start flipping. Like for me, if I am in a service and the Holy Ghost comes in, my tongue will start flipping. I will just know that the Holy Ghost is here already, even before it says it's here. Are you getting that? So that is another channel. So the second secret, the second secret to the prophetic accuracy in the prophetic is the principle of flow. Some of you, you limit God by your flow. All right? Where you are, prof there are persons that, when the grace come upon them and they are giving the message, they pause. They are not releasing all. They are trying to keep some or they are doubting what they see. In that process, that principle of flow, it said, quench not the spirit. So the spirit of prophecy can be quenched. 
once you quest it you any every time you are limiting releasing this west you are only killing your prophetic lifespan all right so a lot of people have met me like that who we have prophesied before and that they were getting that they started stopping to prophesy and after a while they give that totally so don't quench the spirit are you with me now so the principle of flow as you receive it flow and release it all right i want you to understand something if you are in the flesh you cannot prophesy you cannot operate with god all right so when you are now thinking of what we people say when you you are you feel like flowing to pray to you are getting revelation you are getting a uh, prayer points you are not releasing it because of what people will say or you feel like laughing in the spirit you are not doing it because of what people will say he said, neither can an ordinary man understand the things of the spirit because it is spiritually designed. Don't look at anybody when you are doing what is concerning the spirit. Except the person is in the spirit, the person cannot understand. All right. So the third secret, I call it, I call it um, holy anger. All right. Take note. The third secret, take note of body. Take note of body. Um, I call it holy anger. Now, this holy anger is a prophetic advantage. When this holy anger comes, everything the prophetic person or the prophet says at that moment is accurate. When the holy anger comes, everything the prophet says at that moment or the prophetic person says at that moment is prophetic. That was what happened in the time where Israelites were, were, they were in hunger. Elisha the prophet was also suffering the same hunger for with them. The hunger was so terrible that people were killing their children and eating it. Then when the king came to him, something stirred up inside of him. It's called the holy hunger. And he said, by this time tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, a major official be sold for 20 shekels. And it came to pass as it was because it was a level of holy hunger. The same holy anger came upon Elijah. If I be a man of God, let fire, for fire fell. It came upon him again. He said, King, he said, Oh, King, take your horse and go, because I hear the sound of abundance of rain. Before the king could get home, rain started. Is is a realm of holy anger. The holy anger came upon Elijah again. He said to the woman that was that has passed monopause. And he said to her, By this time, according to the time of life, you shall conceive. It's called holy anger. So I said, I said it again, holy anger is an added advantage. Anytime this holy anger comes upon me, my declare anything I pray and I anything I make a decree on, it doesn't pass three days. Once it comes and I release that word, three days, it's coming to pass. The, the most, at most, is three days. It has happened a lot of times. Even when my, my mom died, even when my mom slumped and died. The holy anger stood up in me and I laid down the hand. Hold Mary, come back. And in the space of an hour and 30 minutes, she get she got back. And according to her, she was moving somewhere that there was no land or anything. She was trying to cross and the hand hit her and said, go back. I think I've told you this story before. So all these are product of holy anger. I can tell you a lot of it. Uh, by the same holy anger, a young man that was looking for a job for a very long time. And she he reached... Um, his fiancée for prayers and the fiancée had been told, telling me to pray for this young man but I was not feeling like praying for her for him until she said today he texted her that he she he should pray for her she should pray for him rather and then by hearing that I know that this young man need help and I and I was inside the public transport but that holy anger came upon me and I make a decree when he went for the interview he got the job the same day because this is an added advantage in the prophetic. I want you to use these three things I've mentioned to you, and you are going to grow greatly in the prophetic. All right? The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. I prophesy right now. Those of you desiring the prophetic impartation, I release it upon you. Now, in the name of Jesus, I decree the grace is coming upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus, unction is released upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. For those of you that are just watching for the very first time, there are a lot of prophetic teachings that will help boost you in the prophetic, that will take you into the realm. So just go back and watch these teachings. Subscribe to the channel. Go back and watch this teaching. And also turn on your notification bell so that you can be able to join me on the live stream. 
as I pray for you and you get sharpened the more. The Lord bless you.